your boy Freaky, aka Dead On Freaky, aka Slap the Shit Out Your Hood Boxer. You know what it is. Double XL Mag.com. We here getting money. He's sitting in the back for the S550. Remember, remember, motherfucking remember, July 24th, Bookie Ezekiel. She's coming out, popping, hit single hater, what you looking at on the B side like this. And just right now, you catch that. Police already on somebody. About to take you where it all started. Washington Projects, George Washington Projects, my stomping grounds, 102nd and 3rd. There's a thousand buildings in here with a 100 million people in it and nobody gets along. There's a whole bunch of different attitudes. So you're basically in a war zone right here. This is how we cover the whole Harlem. I'm from 102nd and 3rd. Then you got Jim Jones. He's from 115th and 5th. You go to 140th and you got Cam. You got Joel, she's from 153rd in Amsterdam. So that basically covers the whole Harlem. It all starts back in third grade. I fucked up in math for a little bit. I had to go to summer school. Jim fucked up in math, he had to go to summer school. And that's how we hit it off. You can hustle one way, you'll find another way to make a dollar. And that turned into rap. So now, I'm the president of Diplomat Records. We're in a spot called Haji's, the famous hood sandwich. Give me a honey turkey and cheese. We're, we're um, Munson American. What's up? I just came home too. I got locked up in 2003. They allegedly said I was running the ecstasy ring down in North Carolina, which I got caught for in, in 99, but I went on a run till 2003. And right when we was about to explode and blast off, bang, I got shot. It was an old school move, a 1965 move. When somebody hit your car, you get out, they watch what you got on, and then they try to kill you or take your jewelry. Right now, I'm still on the grind. I still go hard, because I still got to do my album. And it's basically taking you through chapters of my life since I was a little dude. I ain't killed 40,000 niggas. I ain't sell 762 billion bricks. I ain't jump off the building and had the parachute landed down in the middle of my um, caddy that was drop top with 40 bitches in it. I'll let you know what I went through and how I fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So you can listen to that and be like, listen, I ain't gonna do that dumb shit he did. For hip hop, battles is our news. You know what I'm saying? Like, stay tuned, Cameron is beefing with 50. They was like, oh shit, stay tuned, I'm gonna see this shit. Actually, 50 took a shot at Jim. You know what I'm saying? Saying that Koch was a graveyard and he'll murder anybody who's running Koch right now as far as the artist is concerned. Cam heard that. Just like what a big brother would do, he'll defend his little brother. He jumped right up on, on the radio and started wailing on the dude, like, get the fuck out of here with that bullshit you're talking about. Basically, that's what he said in a nutshell. We always stay together no matter what. And so Killer got at him. He killed him with Curtis. I'm well supportive. Anything Cam do, Jim do, Joel do, the whole rest of the diplomats do, I'm over a thousand percent with it. Within the family, you know what I'm saying, it's always going to be arguments. People's not going to see eye to eye on certain situations. That don't mean it's over. Like, if you're, if you're my brother, I'm talking to the cameraman right now. If the cameraman is my brother, and he's talking about, I want to go left. I'm telling him, I want to go right. And he's like, I'm telling you, go left. Then we end up fighting and scrapping over the situation. People like, forget left or right, let's go straight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything got mended out. We went to Joel's studio. We built the gym down there. We got the boxing gloves. And that's how we handle our business, the old street way. You know what I mean? After, after the bumps and bruises, we get up and we walk. The Harlem dudes is gonna work, mate. Like, Harlem niggas is gonna hustle. Well, everything is a hustle. So I can't, you can't just say it's hard to stop us because you just change hustles. And I stepped up and started to be the president of my record label. It was the same business savvy that I had when I was running the streets. A lot of people don't have hustler mentality. And you can't teach somebody that. XXLMag.com. You know how we do it. We stay up in the game. It's your boy Freaky in the building. You know what I mean?